The purpose of this video is to explain how to upgrade a Genmega G1900 ATM for an EMV or chip card reader. To complete this task, you're going to need the Genmega G1900 EMV installation kit, which includes a replacement bezel, EMV chip card reader with attaching hardware, reset board. You'll also need a Phillips screwdriver and a pair of cutters. Begin by opening the top of the ATM and powering it off using the power supply switch. With the top of the ATM open, undo the two screws which allow the front of the ATM to hinge forward. The screws are located here and then also on the opposite side. With the front of the ATM now hinged forward, you're ready to remove the existing card reader. The swipe card reader is held in place by six screws here, 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 two down here, as well as two cable connections here and here. Save the screws after you've removed them. Before removing the card reader, you'll also need to undo the two ground wires, which are attached down here. Remove this screw, remove the two gray wires, and then reattach the green wire. You'll also need to undo these two gray clips down here and pull the gray wires through them to remove the card reader then through the front. Here you can see the existing swipe style card reader has been completely removed, including the grounding wires. The next step in this process is to remove the cover off the back of the main board using screws here and here in the upper corners for the purpose of removing the existing card reader wire. To remove the card reader wire, you'll also need to cut three nylon zip ties located here, here, and here, which will allow you to then unplug the cable from here and pull it out through the bottom. When cutting the zip ties, be very careful not to cut the wires underneath them, as it's really easy to do. Once they have been cut, next is to separate the existing card reader cable, which is the blue, yellow, and white stripe cable, and disconnect from the side of the main board. Then pull the cable down through the bottom to remove. With the old card reader hardware removed, you're now ready to install the new chip reader bezel. Install the bezel from the front, and then attach the screws that were used previously. When installing the new bezel, check from the front that all seams should be even. No part should be sticking out or higher than the rest of the bezel. Next, connect the red and black wire to the flicker light or blinking light on the back of the card reader. The next step is to attach the left and right bracket to the side of the new card reader using the two screws included with the kit which both have little washers. The brackets are keyed so that they'll only install on the correct side of the card reader. When installing, make sure to put the screw in the rear position on the bracket. Next, install the card reader into the back of the bezel at the four corners using the coarse threaded screws which were included with the kit. You may want to leave the card reader screws slightly loose and then test a card from the front to verify that it can go in and out easily. Then tighten the screws once you're done. For the next step, attach the grounding wire back to the position on the sliding tray. Go ahead and coil any excess wire around the wiring harness down here to keep it from pinching in the event you're working on it in the future. The next step involves assembling the card reader reset board. Attach the included jumper wire to the side of the reset board in the small socket as shown. Connect the other end of the reset jumper wire to the socket previously used by the old card reader wire. Next, attach the reset board into the 9-pin serial connector on the side of the motherboard. Note that the cables here will be tight. So try and avoid them from pinching each other by stretching them out and backing them here underneath the modem. Next, install the two machine screws included with the kit to hold the reset board in place. Next, install the card reader wire from the back of the card reader up into the bottom of the reset board. Route the wire through the gray cable ties to prevent it from pinching in the future. Also, on the bottom edge of the reset board where the screwdriver is pointing, there's a small switch. 
Make sure that switch is pointed this direction towards the main board. Here is a close-up of the switch to verify it's in the right position. Next, we need to identify the type of main board your ATM is using. For this particular board, there is a mark in the section next to the battery that says ACU5. If your ATM is using an ACU5 main board, you're going to need to remove this jumper right here, which is directly next to the 9-pin serial port. With the jumper removed, install the yellow and white jumper which was included with the kit. It's a 3-pin jumper, so just press it over the 3 pins. It doesn't matter left or right. If the ATM you're upgrading contains an ACU3 style motherboard, which is identified by the multi-layer Ethernet and CPU board, the jumper you want to replace is located in the middle up near the top of the board. This is directly above a small reset button. There are two jumper positions side by side. Remove the jumper on the right and replace with the jumper included with the kit. With the new card reader hardware installed, go ahead and attach the metal cover on the back of the main board. Then, check all your cables to make sure that nothing will pinch when you hinge the top closed. Once you're satisfied, hinge the top closed again and reattach the screws. One more note about the new EMV card reader. On the back of the card reader, at this point, is a small rubber plug. If your ATM is currently updated with the latest software, version 5.0 or higher, you may go ahead and remove this plug by grabbing the back and pulling it forward. If your ATM does not have the latest software, it's recommended that you leave this rubber plug in place until your ATM is updated with the latest software. This shows the card reader with the rubber plug removed. With the top of the machine hinged back in place, go ahead and power on the ATM and close the top. Once the ATM boots up, assuming that it goes back to a welcome screen, you should have the blinking light on the card reader showing that it's working. The next step is to go into the operator menu and set for the new type of card reader. Enter the operator menu. From within the operator menu, go to System Setup, then select Device Setup, then select Card Reader Setup. Card reader type should be set for EMV. Press Set Type and it should switch. With the card reader type set correctly in the menu, you should now see the correct Insert Card logo on the screen. At this point, you can go ahead and swipe your card to make sure that it reads. Because the EMV software has not yet been activated, it will not latch the card. So just insert your card and remove as you normally would. Once you've verified that the card reader is working, your job is done.